Let's learn to fly. I'm Rusty Ward and this is Science Friction, where I break down the real science behind comic book and sci-fi superheroes and figure out how a puny human like you can attain superhuman abilities. Today, we're taking a look at flight. Every super team needs their heavy hitters, their stealth combat specialists, and their flyers for when combat takes to the air. Also, when your team's transport jet explodes, you need someone who can catch all the people that aren't indestructible. So how can an ordinary human being fly? Well, jetpacks similar to those worn by James Bond and the Rocketeer are no longer things of fiction. They exist, but there are a number of different elements involved in flying and some devices are better at certain things while lacking in other departments. Flyers in comics can take off, land, hover, stay airborne indefinitely, and reach high altitudes and fantastic speeds. But if you're going to take to the air, you'll have to decide where you want your strengths to be and what aspects you're willing to sacrifice. The most common type of jetpack is readily available. It runs on hydrogen peroxide and costs between $100,000 and $150,000. You can take off and land and get up to speeds of 70 miles per hour. The major setback though is that it burns through its fuel in 30 seconds. So it'll get you close enough for one solid punch, but don't go getting in any dogfights. Currently in development is the Martin Jetpack. It runs on gasoline and can take off, go 60 miles per hour, and stay in the air for a half hour. It's a step up from the hydrogen peroxide packs, but it's big and bulky. You might be an easy target for a dead shot, or a trick shot, or any bad guy with the word shot in his name. Then we get to the Jetwing, flown by none other than Eve Rossi, AKA Jetman a Swiss military and commercial pilot who became a self-made engineer in order to design his own flight unit. The jet wing is made of Kevlar and powered by kerosene, which provides for a 10 minute flight. It reaches speeds of 125 miles per hour and is by far the most aerodynamic of all the jet packs. It is the most jet-like of the jet packs. The downside is that it starts off by being dropped from a plane and lands by releasing a parachute, so there's no takeoff or landing in this device. The other limiting factor is that Eve Rossi is the only person talented and insane enough to pilot the jet wing, making him pretty close to a real life superhero. But don't be discouraged from flying your own jet wing because he did say he was looking for a younger man to train as a second pilot of the jet wing. You heard me right. Jetman is looking for a sidekick. You can be Jetman's Robin. So if you want to be the next flying superhero, get your butt to Switzerland. Rossi isn't interested in developing the jet wing so that it can land and take off. He just wants to improve upon how well it flies after it's already in the air. But there is a project looking to make a personal flight device that can take off, land, and fly like a plane. It's called Skyflash. Fritz Unger is designing an individual diesel-powered wing that can take off and sustain flight for an hour, bringing us that much closer to an all-purpose jetpack. We'll be watching the skies for you, Mr. Unger. Check out these jetpacks in action in the playlist I've created coming up after this video. And let me know in the comments what superpower you're looking for.